Hello, Simulacrum here, <clears throat> and it's going to be my second game that I upload. And let's see here. It will be a PVZ Simulacrum versus Jedi on the map Blistering Sands. Um, I have been playing him more games, but uh, to say the least, my success has been. <laughs> pretty limited. I've been defeated by quite a few rushes and um, it has been really hard to get a good game together that I could post. This game itself is maybe not going to be so fantastic so may hopefully I'm not spoiling anything but uh, <clears throat> it's not going to as be as long as my previous game <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. So, let's look at the tabs first. Income, hmm. I always seem to be lacking that. Units, yeah, that's a good tab to live on. So, I'm chrono boosting my Nexus, queuing up three workers to really get some economy. And I have my pylon over here, and I'm going to make my gateway at 13. I'm also scouting. And he's putting down his spawning pool. So, okay, my gateway is building, and here soon I will be putting up my gas, <coughs> because it's very important to have gas early against Zerg, to get those immortals and all the tech you need. I'm boosting a bit more on the Nexus, I'm going for the Westing Geyser now, uh, continuing my scouting, just adding some waypoints. Yeah, really not much going on. I'm thinking perhaps I could speed this up so I could fit it into one part. Yeah, adding my second pylon at 16. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm gonna speed things up. This basic build going on. So, <clears throat> I see here, I'm going for the cybernetics core at 18. Uh, I seem to, I don't even have one zeal, so I'm taking quite a risk here. Especially as he's building zerglings. Most just go roaches straight away. So, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going for my second base being geyser. Waiting for my cybernetic score and continuing to produce probes. And now I'm making my first seal. It. It's quite late. Well, actually, it's not late, but he's rushing with zerglings. So, okay, one more pylon. I tried to make those at 23 or something, but. I made it a little bit earlier. And then going for the geyser. Okay, here's some action. He's assaulting my base. I actually have only one zealot. And I was like, oh shit. But <clears throat> apparently zealots are pretty good against zerglings, so I survived over there. He had only four, so maybe he was just probing me. But now I have the, my second zealot out. <clears throat> and I'm going to make my second gateway. So. Let's see here, here I'm um, making the warp gates research, it's very important. And let's see over here, what was I doing? Yeah, robotics facility. It's very nice to try to tech early against Zerg because it's nowadays when I've been playing and like all of you who play on the beta and play Protoss, they seem to go <coughs> roaches pretty much all the time. You don't see such big deviations. Alright. Another pylon warping in. My research is soon... Uh, it's not yet finished. I really should chrono boost that some more. Making some more workers, going for robotics. And now my gateway. My second gateway is on. <coughs> if my voice is a little strange it's because I have been sick the entire week and <coughs> it, it just sucks. But anyway. That leaves me more time to play this game, which is awesome. Um, <clears throat> yeah. He places Zerglings on the Silunaga Towers. That's pretty nice because the Zerglings are quite cheap and you can. It doesn't hurt you pretty much to. so much to spread them out. And here, <clears throat> going for my first Immortal. Sometimes it's good to go for that early Observer, but. I took a chance over here. 
I went for my immortal because it's so good against roaches. I'm warping in some additional troops, stalker, sentry, really good with this when you have this force field ability. Although I don't migrate very much. And I just saw that I'm I was supply blocked for a short time there, but luckily it didn't last too long and I got my pylons up. Okay, let's look at my opponent's base. Yeah, roaches. That's very